Okay, I'm back. We are still in Junktown. Monty here playing some more Fallout 1, the old classic. What I want to do in this town is we've seen some some different characters, right? We went up, we talked to the uh, crazy fat casino man, but I wanted to head back down to Dark Waters and talk to the good old mayor of the town and see Can where I it goes. Help you? All right, let's figure out My a little bit Killian. more about him. Killian Darkwater, Killian. mayor of this fine town. And who might you be? I am Natalia. I'm gonna keep forgetting that. <laughs> I came Not from up north. Up that way, except desert and shady sands. Yeah, I came from a vault. Oh yeah, sure you do. <laughs> when you were a baby, your crib was a safe. Yeah, it was. Uh, no, no, it's called a vault. I protected us from the war. <laughs> Don't feel bad. Ain't the worst story I've been told. All right. Well, this guy's not what buying it. Doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. What's there to do around oh, here? Oh, we got tons to do. The scum pits on the east side. But thanks. <laughs> uh, do you own the store? You bet. May not be as big as some in the hub, but people usually find what they're looking for. Not too much interesting happening here. Whoa! Gizmo sends his regards. Killian was hit for 11 points. Kenji, all right, we got a killer here. Let's see what I got. Should we knife him? Should I put my gun on? Yeah. I think I'm going to be fair enough to... Uh, let's put our new SMG. The SMG I haven't even played around with. We picked it up in the vault, and it's got this burst action, which... Ah, hey, you know what? He's standing right in front of me. That's his mistake. Let's go burst in his face. Oh, never mind. That was my uh, friend. I thought I was this guy. I'm this chick. I was, I hit him for 46 hit points, and uh, I gained 400 experience for helping out Killian kill the assassin. I'm gonna very quickly, before things get out of hand, put the gun away, and say I'm done. So combat over. Nobody Listen, attack thanks me. For saving my life. It's a mighty brave thing to do. Now it looks like we've got ourselves a situation here. I know Gizmo's behind this, but I need proof. You interested in helping? Ah, oh, what do you need from me? Proof the people of Junktown will kick him out. Way I figure it, you need to either plant a bug at his place or wear a wire and get him to confess to you. Hmm. Can you handle that? Uh, what do I get in return? Yeah. I'll tell you what, anything in the store, even the most expensive, it's yours, no charge. What? If it's a gun, I'll give you all the ammo you can carry. What? Does that sound fair? That sounds awesome. That sounds more than fair. Uh, not, unless he has, like, a broken pistol is his best item. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. I owe you. Time to go get Here's wired up and be a snitch. No, but we're, we're actually going after this nasty casino guy. We'll see him again, pay him a visit. So, for selling your opponents, you gain 250 experience. So, actually, I got 650 experience out of there. Do I get, uh, do I get a wire? Am I already wired up? Oh, look. So how do I... The bug. Do I have to put it on or something? We got dead bodies to look at. What do you got on them? Uh, shotgun. Nice. Um, do I have shotgun ammo, though? I thought I picked up a few shells. No. I'm playing too many games. I know there's a game that I'm playing where I picked up some shotgun shells. We do have some ammo options, but nothing for... Uh, are a little shoddy yet. That's fine. I'm happy with this. Let's go. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, there's two ways to earn this extra companion. You notice the dog is actually my companion now. He's called Dog Meat. There's Dog Meat there. And what it is is you have to put on the leather jacket, which you find one in Vault 15, or give him some meat, and uh, he's yours. He'll follow you around. He'll fight for you. Um, don't expect too much out of him. He is just a dog. It's not like pack and heat. Cool way to add a little companion. Alright, so let's go do a quick save because you never know what's going to happen in Fallout. This one's going to be uh, mission time. Mission time! Because we're about to go bug this guy. we got to make sure we choose the right options and get this done right. Help out Killian. I'm worried though, this casino is kind of like the only thing that's providing business around here. Oh, it's a long way out. Alright, there's Gizmo in the back. This is all a gambling area, so it's clear for me to walk around. And let's see, are these... Have I looked in these yet? 
Ooh, I haven't. I should be able to steal from these. Let me deal with this now before I cause a bunch of drama. Nothing. That door's probably locked. Let's use the bug on Gizmo. This does nothing. But if I use it on this door. <laughs> this is rookie moves. I, I got this thing. I just don't know what I should do with it. I'm just going to talk to him. What do you want? I'm a busy man. Oh, I'm here to tell you your assassination failed. So you can flip this if you want. You can really flip it and have Gizmo be the man you go to and take out Killian. Or Gillian, or whatever his name is. Killian. Um, nothing actually. Just be going now. Oh, wow. I can only do... It failed. His attempt. Oh, yeah. There we go. We'll just talk about this. I don't know what you're talking about. Let's take a hypothetical situation. Such as? Well, let's say you did try to kill Killian. And your assassin failed. That means you need a new one to do the job, right? And let me go. Yes. That's someone. There we go. How can I trust you? I'm here, and you need someone. Okay, so I'm I'm probably already bugged up. Uh, you can't. I mean, you can. I mean, you can't. I mean, uh, because I've been around. I've killed before. All right, we can do this. But you work for me. You better know that nobody ever double crosses Gizmo and lives to talk about it. <laughs> no way one could put one around you. He's a little fat, so I agree. Uh, got it. What you want? Uh, All right. That's easy. I want him dead because he cramps my business. So, yuck. What are you doing for me? Yeah. <laughs> Could you say that again this time in my coat pocket? I, I need you to really yell it loud. All right, uh, that's why I'm here. He'll Good. be dead before sundown. Return with the dog tags he wears around his neck as proof. And we never had this conversation. It's actually not that difficult to go the other direction. Realize, when you go to your character, you got this whole karma thing. So if you go the direction of killing the mayor of a town, you're going to have a big karma hit. And I'm going for positive karma. We're almost level four, that's nice. Uh, next thing I want to do is up my gambling a little bit because I think I want to hit up the hub city Which is even you think this is some gambling you just wait and see how's this chica doing? Uh, let's bet 15 caps on Oh Better luck next time. Let's 15 caps. No money to play. Well, no, no, thanks. I'm broke We will fix that later That's why I need my gambling skill up just a little bit more Just a little bit all right, so hopefully this recorded everything. It's old school tech. Let's hit up uh, Killian. Hit him up, hit him up. Dog meat, Ian. Let's get this job done. Okay. So, did you get the evidence? I sure did. Which? Bug or tape? The confession. That's the first time I've been happy to hear his voice. Thanks, friend. Now, time for you and me to take care of the other business. Ooh, okay. Stim packs are always good. Shotgun and shells. That would get me the shells and an extra shotgun. A suit of leather armor. I don't really need. But the doctor's medical kit. That sounds really nice. However, hmm. Shotgun or shells or medical kit? What would you guys pick? I want to know. Post. Post. Comment and post. But I'm curious well, listen, what you guys I'm would do. I'm going to take the guards and run Gizmo and his cronies out of town. I could use another gun. You up for it? Uh, what are you gonna give me? Well, I can pay you the standard rate for five hundred caps. Sold. Done. Move along. Leveled up. Let's go down before we go back up, because he's gonna get a group of people together. But I think he's gonna get this uh, one of these guys down here. Still got the hospital. Oh, clicked too far. We got all the cows. I wanna go talk to this guy up front. All right, before we talk to Ian, what I want to do is make sure I level up and get this going. No perks at level four. Her reputation at 10. Man, we've almost killed 100 rats. That should be an achievement on its own. But the skill points, let's get our gambling up to 60. Let's just do that for now. And small guns. Oh, maybe one more. No, that's already so, so far up there. I need to start getting my 
You know, I shouldn't have done so much on my doctor, or my first aid. I should have done a lot more doctor skill. I think that was a mistake. But right now, I actually want to switch this up too and go more on lockpick, because I want to get that up. I always love having a really good lockpick. Gambling is not something I usually do, but for Fallout 1, you want to do gambling, and you will never have money problems again. Uh, that's just the best way to go about this. So let's talk to our boy here. You see a heavily muscled, scarred man with a mustache. You ready to help take down Gizmo? You bet. Let's nail that tub. All right, so time to go. All right, let's do it. Save unneeded. We should save, but... So it comes down to this, huh? Uh, all right. Let's see. Time to get armed and get ready. Now, let's see. Got my old pistol. I do have this shotgun with 100 shotgun shells. Um, I didn't realize I was going to get 100 shotgun shells, so that was definitely the better option. At least in my opinion. You can also get this nice target down here. It takes one more action point. See, five for a normal single shot. Uh, for Oh, I didn't grab the right gun. Dang. Took up my... I'll, I'll switch that next time. But a target shot's nice. You get this... Uh, you can shoot someone in the eyes for 68% chance. Shows your different percentages. That's a really nice way to just kind of finish this off. I want to shoot this guy. 44% chance. 68% chance. In the eyes. Critically hit him in the eyes for 38 points of damage. I thought that was pretty good. Now dog meat's gonna go to town. He's helping me out. I have my buddy who just shot that guy to the ground and my dog's gonna try to finish him up. Izo, the guy on the ground, or Iza, one of those. My go again. Let's go four spaces, aim, and shoot. Oh, let's see. How much life does this guy have? Oh! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Well, we're gonna just move right up on... right up on him. That was a mistake. Let's... in turn? Don't shoot and kill me. Alright, that guy's dead on the ground. Oh! Ribs open. He just got finished off. I just realized this guard's on my side, and I was about to try to kill him. Oh no, my dog's coming after me. I tried to kill someone on my side. No, 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 in combat. Okay, Whew. that was good. That was all we needed to do. Thanks for all your help. Got some caps, got some good stuff. Let's see, can we talk to him again? Good day, traveler, what do you need? Just looking for a little work? Uh, okay, he's basically giving me the, the standard to do. Go on up here, talk to these people. It's the man in the red shirt from the Red Shirt Guild. No, the guy, the guy who got paid to go kill Killian was wearing a red shirt like that. Uh, so we can either stop off, get some hospital goods, but we took care of Gizmo. Let's hit up the general store and go talk to our friend. Even though, look, we got 600 experience, 400 experience for killing people. Leveling up quick. Now, you don't get the combat experience until you finish like you actually click combat and end it so well, one nice I thing is if you're in the middle of a big group of enemies try to find somewhere to go hide and get out of the battle in the middle in combat you'll get some experience and you might level up right in the middle um okay so i want to well, buy something damn fine coincidence. let's yeah we're in the general store we might as well he's got a bunch of cash two thousand caps he's got a nice looking pistol there Let's see what junk we have to get rid of before we head out. Doctor bag, dynamite, got plenty of grenades, we got a crowbar. These things, I just, why do I need a flare? It's probably a good reason for it, but I find so many of them. I got a lot of beer. Let's sell it. All of it. Ooh, yeah, see, some good money. Now, the cat's paw we can sell, that we can sell, I don't know what it is, it's like some old food or something. See, I got this nice shotgun. I'm using this cheap rubber banded together duct taped thing. So here, I'm gonna click on this, I wanna, nope, how do I, there we go. How many do we want, 315? You can just type it in. 
Done. I will barter. I'm going even. Even all around. All right. We are ready to head out, I think. Uh, well, we got a few more things. What time is it? We could probably hit up the inn here and let's spend the night. Get a good night's rest at the, uh, the crash house and see if anything interesting happens here. Now, I'm wondering who's going to take over the casino now that all that's happened. I haven't even checked that. I want to run a room just for one night. One night. Room's yours. I do have money now. I haven't had money for so long. Now, which room do I get? There's a lady in there. Is this my room? Is this my bed? Is this it? You're in your room. Do you want to rest until tomorrow morning? Yes. Sounds sweet. Thank God you're here. Someone, Some crazy guy has Cynthia held hostage. He's threatening to kill her. You've got to help. Uh, okay, I'll check it out. Since I haven't saved for some time, it's mission time, it sounds like. Let's hit this up. Must be this guy. Yeah, it's some raider. Time to save Cynthia. That's it, don't come any closer. I'll off her head, I swear. Don't do it, there's no need for violence. Oh, what world do you live in? Here in the real world, blood flows, it's gonna spill all over, blah blah blah. We can talk this over. What can I do to help? Jeez, that's funny. Who says I want to help? You do. By holding the woman hostage, you're asking for help. I can help. I gotta think about this. Give me a moment. All right. One, two, three. I walked up to him. I'm gonna shoot him in the face. And I'm gonna target him in the head. 50% uh, chance. Nope. It's a miss. Turn. Dog meat. Bite his leg off. Dog meat to the rescue. I didn't do anything. I missed. My dog finished him off completely. Time to put the weapon away, which I forgot to do when I just walked in here. Glad no one said anything. I think they're giving me a little bit more free reign. Ooh, that's nice armor. And we've got to go back to the casino and uh, go loot everything. I cannot pick that up. You're at maximum weight capacity. But let me show you this. This is really cool. Uh, you don't have enough action points in combat. Let's go inventory. So this armor, let's see, uh, armor class 18, take that off, drops down to 10. So it gave me eight. But I've got this new armor, this stuff, boom, up to 25. And I gotta say, it looks pretty cool too. Uh, now I look like this chick, look. I found my twin. We're right there. We're hanging out. I got a bigger bigger behind. Of course. Oh, and here's a little trick. You can go to your skills and you can steal from your Ian buddy. I forgot to do this earlier. And steal all his money. You steal the bottle caps. Uh, I could probably steal more, but there's just really no point right now. Just to let you know, if you walk up behind him, you can sneak up, steal stuff from your companion. And then you can change stuff up. This guy's a little bit different. I can't like just change up his inventory. I was thinking I could give him some of my stuff. He would act kind of like a little pack mule because I have total weight 125. Got too much stuff. Got too much stuff. So I guess I could go still sell some more. 12 gauge shotgun, uh, shotgun shells. This is, this is actually a hunting rifle. I thought it was a shotgun. Hmm. So this is actually using the different ammo, this 223 caliber. So I don't need the, the Magnum ammo. Wish I had some storage somewhere, that's what's nice later on. Those are all things that change over time. Thanks for helping, she usually is not a problem. But don't ask for another freebie. No problem, room number one, follow me. Hey, hey, I think, uh, you are in your room. Do you want to rest here until tomorrow morning? I think we're getting a little extra night with her. Natalia and the the lady of the the lady of the hotel. There we go. We got an extra room. I awakened, refreshed. Marcellus. 
helped me out. Let's see what we got. Can't say no to a locker and a bookcase. You guys know that. All right. Maybe the scum pit is finally open. If not, I still gotta... Oh, let's hit up dark water again. Clear up some space. I'm gonna go sell that leather armor. That's what's weighing me down a lot, too. Because that's the problem. You go with the nice armor, you're gonna have to live with those consequences of that heavy weight. Well, howdy. What can I do for you bet? I mean... You own this store? Well, howdy. Barter. I'm just gonna go straight to that. All right, so I'm gonna sell some things. I think that's gonna be good for this episode. We took down Gizmo. We got our free nights stay and a bunch of extra experience. I think we gained like two or three levels just by staying in Junktown. But we're gonna get finished up here, uh, tie off any loose ends, and then we're gonna head out to the hub next episode. So thanks for watching. I'm gonna finish up here and catch you guys on the flip. See you next time.